Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you're like most of us, healthy eating comes with a lot of discipline. But here to teach us how to master it, please welcome the author of Meal Prep is the New Leftovers, Making Healthy Eating Fun Again, Chef Anthony. Thank welcome. You. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I appreciate we are so it. happy that you are here. So let's, before you. we get into our demo, let's mm -hmm. talk about you. Mm -hmm. So you got into the kitchen at a very early age. What attracted you to come on in the kitchen? So I grew up in a household where my parents made home-cooked meals every night. Yeah. Every single night, fast food was a luxury. I probably got fast food maybe like once a month. Right, I get that. it. Yeah. So this is what I grew up on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But everything switched for you. Uh, we were talking about HBCUs, obviously, mm -hmm. throughout the show. You went to Bowie State. I did. But you, uh, BSU, shout out, uh, Trina Bowie went State. to Bowie State. Uh, but something happened in college, and mm -hmm. you had something that was life-threatening. It was. Tell everybody about that, and then after that, you switched things up. Yep. Yeah. So um, I was diagnosed at 19 with the ulterior venous malformation. Okay, what exactly That's, is that? It's like uh, in neurology where a uh, brain, mm -hmm. so it's a cluster of blood vessels that were kind of tangled up, mm -hmm. and I had high blood pressure that triggered it. I was able to catch it early before it hemorrhaged. Okay. So with that, my doctor said, you got to change the way you eat. Yeah. And once they removed it, it was a, um, I was out of commission for 14 days. Mm -hmm. So they did open head surgery, got it out, came back out, and I said, no more. Right, and you decided to change mm -hmm. your diet. So you know why when you're at college, you yeah. start eating a little crazy. Right. I didn't have those home cooked meals right. anymore. Right, so. right. So you had to figure it out yourself. I did. So one of your staples is this amazing salad we're about to make today. Yep. All right. So tell us what we're going to be doing. This is nice and easy. It smells good. It's all the things I like to eat. So, so, so this is a skinny salad right okay. here. Okay. So you got your black beans, your garbanzo beans for your protein mm -hmm. and your fiber. Cucumbers, great flavor. Tomato, cilantro, red onions. You got the feta cheese. You can leave that out. Yeah. Or you can add it. You yeah. know, totally up to you. Okay. Avocado is one of my favorite. That's the good fats. Yeah, that's so. good. I love the good fats. I had mm -hmm. avocado yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna be make the salad. Yep. All right. So with this salmon. right here. No, that's with the uh, that's the uh, the lemon Dijon okay. vinaigrette. Okay, we're just adding so, everything to this. Yep. So boom, add boom. as much as you like. Oh, okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. So while we're doing that, tell us about your book. So there you go. All no, right. Boom, boom, boom. So we're just. Sprinkling this in yep. there. You know, I love me a little black beans now. Yep. Sometimes I had to take a beano before I eat the black beans. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little feta. So this is more of a vegetarian type mm -hmm. of uh, salad. It's not vegan. And this but you can make it mm -hmm. vegan and by, uh, I guess, excluding the, the cheese as Ex well. Exactly. All right. A little bit of cilantro. I love cilantro. I love cilantro. I'm heavy on the cilantro. It's a great for the it's a great for kick. So this is our combination right here. Uh -huh. People, you got you got the red onions, you got the tomatoes. Ooh, there you go. That's yumminess. Mm-hmm. All righty. Boom. And then we have the tomatoes. Do we want to add these garbanzo of beans? Of course. I love the garbanzo beans. Perfect. Yes. And you can kind of choose because you do cucumbers. It's, it's, yeah, cucumbers. Avocado. Okay. You can kind of put anything you want in this salad, but you're yep. trying to make sure we keep it nice and healthy. So this is one of yes. the recipes that's found in my recipe book, yes. and it also comes with a 21-day meal plan. Yeah, tell me about the 21-day meal plan, because so that's the thing. You mm -hmm. got to, you know, that's my problem. I work out all the time, then I come to work, and I'm not eating after my workout. So what do I need to do to make sure I, everything is planned ahead of time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, the book is a seven-step guide uh -huh. that shows people exactly how to meal prep. Okay. But then you have the 21-day meal plan, which is basically breakfast, lunch, dinner, yes. snacks. Yes. And shows you exactly what to eat. You know, if mm -hmm. you want to lose weight, gain weight, maintain, yes. and all that good stuff. That's good stuff. So now we're gonna make the dressing. There I love homemade go. dressing. It's the best because you know what you're putting into it, and it's not a uh, whole bunch of preservatives. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What are we doing? So I'm gonna give you this lemon juice. Are we putting all of this in there? We are. Okay. Porisha. All right. Red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Or oh, red red wine. <laughs> Dijon right. mustard. All of it. All of it. Oh, I like this. Now, this is your own special recipe, I oh, see. Oh, yeah. It okay. tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. And I'm, I'm going to see. And we got this sea salt right here. All right. There's nothing wrong with a little sea salt. And I go ahead. Yes, yeah, so you eye that thing there out. You go. Okay. Perfect. And you mix it up. Mix it together. Uh huh. And then you're just going to pour it over the salad. Right. Your desired amount. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the meals that are in your 21-day plan? I know this is one, this is the skinny salad, but give me a couple more hmm. recipes that you might have. To Real quick, grab yes. and go. You uh, take a cupcake uh, dispenser, you mm -hmm. pour your egg whites or your egg inside of there, uh -huh. and you can have those to pack into your um, meal prep containers. Right. Do I pour all of this in there? Hey, why not? Because it's so fresh and so good. <laughs> yes. Yes, a good salad. Ooh, hey, I, gotta, I gotta taste this salad. Yes. Oh, this yes. looks so amazing. Yes. Give us some. 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 Give us some.
Yes. yes. Can now, we Chef, a yes, bit? we can. Chef I, Anthony, now, after yes. you were diagnosed and you started seeing the changes in your body, mm -hmm. how, I mean, how amazing was that knowing that the food, food was the impetus for the change? So, knowing mm. that you can change the way you eat and your body will just adapt to it, you yes. know? Yes. Mm, that was so, good. Mm. Turning vegan for four entire years, I noticed a complete change in my energy levels. Yes. Much higher. I didn't have to drink any coffee at that point in time. Mm. Right. I was lean, okay. abs. Solid. You know, it's Your just. Focus? Yeah. Clear? No yes. Coffee. Coffee. We have a lot of clarity. Uh, a lot of clarity. Of clarity. <laughs> and we are very clear about this amazing salad, mm. Chef Anthony. I'm going to let the ladies eat mm -hmm. while I tag you out. We appreciate yeah. it. Oh, More absolutely. importantly, we're so glad that you're here and, and alive and well. Yes. And that you can show people by changing your diet, you can change your diagnosis on pretty much anything. Oh, so you know. can follow Chef good. Anthony, uh, follow him on social media at <laughs> Chef Anthony BC, where you can find more info and the link to purchase his newest book. Up next, we'll meet the winners of our My Love Story contest. We'll be right back as I indulge. Yes, thank you, Chef Anthony. Thank you very much. Thank you.